Welcome back. We're in the town of Elma. It's a small town just outside of Buffalo, and I have a deeply personal connection here. Going back, I don't know, as long as you've known me and more. Since before me. Since before you, yeah, 2011-ish. Yeah. So I worked in documentary films, and uh, we made a documentary on it called American Made Movie, and it was about manufacturing in the United States. And this was way back before it became a hot topic. So in the course of creating the movie, we met this really awesome guy named Mark who had a welding shop and they lost a lot of business just overnight and it was all going to China and he researched it and found out what was happening, couldn't stop that. But what he could do is he could open a store that promoted 100% American made products. Down to the wrappers, down to the tags, down to the ink on the, on the paper, on the receipts and the wrappers and everything. So Mark has a really amazing story we became friends over the years of making the movie and releasing the movie, and I haven't seen him in a couple of years. So we're up here in Elma, gonna meet up with Mark in a little bit. Gonna take Lindsay and show her kind of the old stomping grounds of when we were filming here. Go show her the store, the Made in America store. So we're gonna link to all this, not to promote us in any way, but to promote Mark and the passion that he has for really doing an awesome thing for this country, for the workers of this country. He is, I mean, he's as patriotic as it gets um, and, and just a really awesome, energetic guy. So anyway, without saying anything else, let's go in and I'll show let's you. Let's go check out the store. Show you the store. Hey, 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 quick update. So yesterday we went in the store, bought some goodies, pretty awesome place. Um, they've got a great online store, so definitely make sure to check out the Made in America store.com and, uh, and buy all your American made products. Support all of the workers who make the products that are in the store. I'm sure Mark has a little bit built in to pay for his workers in the building, but he's not in it to make money, he's in it to help keep people working. So it's pretty awesome. Anyway, Mark came up yesterday afternoon. We were able to chit chat for a little bit and set plans for hopefully tomorrow. Um, today, though, is Aaron Day. It's our favorite day of the week, isn't it, Lindsay? It's shower day. And it's laundry day. And it's dump day. Oh, yes. Yeah, and dump it's dump day. And propane it's day. Propane and everything. It's Aaron Day and it grocery is. shopping day. And grocery shopping day. So we were just outside of Buffalo. All this stuff is nearby-ish, but it's gonna take us a full day to run around and get all the stuff done. We're not gonna show you all the nitty gritty details. If you really wanna see nitty gritty details, watch that video or that video about what it's like to run errands in Baja, Mexico and Mulahe. Um, but it is errand day and we don't like doing a little bit all the time. We're just gonna knock it out in one day and be done with it. And yes, it means the hot water heater is running right now. Lindsay gets to wash her hair. Uh, but before all that happens, <laughs> showing you a little bit of what we got going on. This is our wet bath. It's a mess. Slash closet. 
and it is a mess. So before we can shower, we gotta take all that stuff out. We have reduced the amount of stuff that we have in here and it's relatively simple. We've got containers and boxes and, and all that, but there really is no other place where you can put your stinky dirty laundry except in the wet bath or to hang up a towel except in the bathroom. And for us, we've got a, a rack in there where we can hang up our jackets and Lindsay hangs up her shoes and we keep anything that could possibly spill. So the dog's water, extra um, extra water, all of our chemicals for cleaning, all that stays in the wet bath because if we ever hit a bump and things broke open, we want all the liquid to spill inside the wet bath and not on our floor or anywhere in the camper. So that's all the stuff that we keep in there and we gotta move it all when it's shower day. As you pretty much know already, we don't shower every day, so it's not like we do this often, but we do need to do it because we haven't stayed in a campground in shoot like a week. I think. Oh, a campground with the shower? Yeah, with a yeah. shower. It's been, it's, been a it's been a while. And we don't see ourselves staying at one for the next week or so. So this is going to be our shower right now. And then we'll do another shower later on in the week sometime. Um, but for now, we'll get all this stuff moving. Move it from this messy place to that messy place. And the dogs got their bath. Well, this, this one did. Where all of our water went. Yep, this one got her bath because she found a nice pile of deer poo to roll in. Everest loves rolling in poo. So she got to use up a third of our water tank yesterday because there was no way she was getting back in this camper with poop literally on all sides of her. Absolutely disgusting. But that's what she loves to do. So she gets her one fun day and then we get to suffer the consequences. But she's part of our family. If you have kids, if you've raised kids, you know how it is. God forbid my parents are watching right now and all the things I put them through. I don't think I ever rolled in poop though. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I don't know. I am the kind of person that as a kid probably rolled in poop. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this going and, uh, and we'll check back in throughout the day as we're getting our errands knocked out. Not an exciting day. We probably made the cover photo for this, a beautiful picture of Niagara Falls. We'll get to that soon. I don't know why I always say it, but it sure feels good to be all dumped. We are, uh, we're totally dumped, filled up on propane, and I tell you what, I have to always keep justifying spending money in ways that I didn't expect to spend it, but it was $20 for four gallons, so that's quite a bit. Wow. Yeah, it's quite a bit. We paid $12 at Tractor Supply, and that filled up our whole one tank and half of another one, and this was just one tank plus a tiny bit in the other tank. So, um, but we got a free dump out of it and free water. So, yeah. so that's how I'll justify it because we spent $17 at that dump way in upstate New York mm -hmm. um, without free propane. So, so that's how I'm gonna look at it. We spent $20 dumping and then we got free propane. <laughs> On to the next task. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. We got everything done now. We did. We have clean laundry, we have clean tanks. We got fresh water, full propane. We're stocked up on food. Tons of food. We are good to go. We spent a good penny today, but we will average out over the last couple of days and over the next couple of days without spending money. But tonight, because we got all of our errands done and just because, sorry, Huck's moving the camera. We're doing an impromptu date night because we're in date Buffalo. Night? Date night. We never go on dates. I know, I know. I can't afford to take you on dates. <laughs> Then you cook food, so it's not like I can even cook you a meal. I could, I could cook you a bowl of cereal. You can cook food. You've just kind of it's forgotten. It's been years. Lost the touch. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're in Buffalo, and when in Buffalo, of course, you've got to eat bison burgers, right? No, you eat That's what Buffalo Buffalo, wings. Buffalo is known for bison burger. No. Buffalo wings. We are going to go scarf down some buffalo wings. Not in the original place. We thought about doing that, but that was actually in the city of Buffalo. We don't like cities. I'm not really liking Buffalo either. The we're, fringes of Buffalo. We're in East Aurora. Which is a, a nice little suburb of Buffalo. And this is the number one wing place in all of Western New York for that's this what year. It's rated, yeah. That's what it was rated. They may have said it. They may have paid TripAdvisor to say it. I don't know how that works. But it's supposed to have tremendous wings. And they also have great beef on weck, which is another local to this area. We're gonna skip beef on weck tonight. I think we're going to splurge on two going outs in one city because we want to try beef on weck. 
I want Lindsay to try beef on wick, actually. Um, I like roast beef. Yeah, so... This is yummy. We like, we like food. We should do more eating food when, when we're out. Yeah. But that's not in our budget. Expensive. So this is going to be in our budget because we're going to make it in our budget because who does not like a good, fat, delicious buffalo wing? The question is, what sauce are we going to get it dipped in? Yeah, but it's known for buffalo sauce. So buffalo here. sauce it is. I'm not a big <laughs> buffalo sauce I fan. You I like it. But I will eat some buffalo sauce, buffalo wings in Buffalo, New York. They have some good New other York. flavors. We just have to see what they have. Well, we'll eat whatever they have because I'm starving. So we're going to get the dogs put away and we're going to go eat. Hopefully, it's a little bit late. We couldn't make reservations. Yep. It is New York, which has been really tough on restaurants. Um, we don't really know how it's going to work. In terms of, I know they're at least. 50. We might be ordering to go and eating in the camper. We might be. We'll find out. We, who knows? Because I don't even know what the capacity is. Like Florida just got off of fifty percent capacity, mm -hmm. and that's Florida. So yeah. New York's been really New tough. tough. Who knows? But there were people inside eating. So let's go get our name on the list and let's, let's eat. Yum. Well, that was short lived. Yeah, there's nothing available until like eight thirty. I'm not waiting till eight thirty. Yeah, we're gonna do takeout. The camper. It's still day and night. Yeah. We ordered our to-go food at least an hour and a half ago, and it's time to get it. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm stinking really hungry. I haven't had wings in I don't know how long. And probably got... a year. It's probably been over a year since I've had non-homemade wings. So I've if you don't, my own wings, if you don't but... like them, if they don't digest well, I'll eat all 20 of them for you. Okay. Gonna go pick them up and then we're gonna drive back to the Made in America store where we were camping and we're gonna have date night in the camper, date eating night. wings. Yes, and the dogs have already eaten. So I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna go get this food. I'm hungry. Please. This is it. This is date night with the best wings in Buffalo. Looking forward to it. Disregard the mess. In the back, I'm not talking about Lindsay. I'm talking about the bed we have to make. I am a hot mess. Delicious. It smells amazing. These are the, this is the best smells that I've had. <coughs> and we got our TV set up. Gonna Hardly watch, ever bring it down here. And watch a little TV. Eat some Ish. wings. But this is a special night. Gonna watch the 100. We're currently binging the 100. So we're gonna put that on, eat some mornings, and enjoy the night. And tomorrow it's Niagara Falls! Niagara Falls. Until then. It's cold. It is cold. <laughs> I'm sorry this is what you get, Lindsay, for your trip to Niagara, but I honestly, I feel like Buffalo only has maybe two and a half full days of sunshine a year, yeah. and uh, that's not today. We thought yesterday the sun was like peeking out, and then it rained, and then it's been like... Yeah, we thought it was going to be sunny all day yesterday. Yeah. So anyway, we are here at the Made, the Made in America store, and we're um, we going to go to the Made of the Mist. We're not going to ride the Made of the Mist. Have you got our game face on? We're gonna go to Niagara Falls right now. So we we're, 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 we're excited. Got as excited as I was eating those wings, which by the way, phenomenal, top notch. Lindsay didn't like the buffalo sauce. They I don't good. I don't like buffalo sauce and I thought it was phenomenal. The sauce just tasted different than what I've had like, in the past. Like so maybe real, it was more buffalo style. It was real buffalo, so, buffalo I mean, they sauce. Were, they were good wings. They, they were, were delicious wings. wings. They were very well cooked. I'm sorry, you can't see me right now. You're watching the dogs licking their ears. Stop. Gross. All right, so you probably we don't even have feedback yet on whether people think that's gross because we're behind and getting. <laughs> so I'm if sorry, you think that's you gross, that. you might think it's cute, but it's gross. Or maybe you're like, why do they keep this camera angle when the dogs are always in the way? Um, I don't know, but that's just our life this is right where now. We like filming. It, it, this is the office, and this is uh, this is how it works. So let's get out of here and move on. See, even Google wants even, us to go. Yeah. She's Google's she's screaming ready. at us to, to drive, so we're gonna drive.
that? <laughs> that looks like what is this black funny thing? Well, we are at the falls on the American side, of course. We can't get into Canada right now, thanks to COVID. But uh, we're here on the American side, and uh, it, it's going to be pretty awesome. Lindsay hasn't seen it. I don't know why I say that, because we keep saying that. <laughs> if you can get to the Canadian side, the view is supposed to be more spectacular, because the falls are on the American side. Um, but you still get pretty good views. We'll go check it out. Go on the island. They were walking across? Yeah. Ah. As the president would say. It's huge. 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 Well, there were squirrels everywhere, which means our dogs are misbehaving. So I brought the kids back to the camper and Lindsay went across to Goat Island to get her pictures. And now I am going to drive over there because we found out there's parking and there should be RV parking from what she says, it's only eight to $10, something like that. So where we're parked right now is $5 per hour. And that's crazy because I don't remember paying that, but I also um, was here 10 years ago. So. Anyway, we're um, dogs and I are gonna go move and meet up with Lindsay again. here in your RV there is a parking lot on Goat Island it's parking lot number three and uh, today it appears to be free which is nice I don't know what it would cost normally but um, there's nobody at the gate there's the uh, payment kiosk is all covered up so it appears that it is free and I'm gonna go meet Lindsay take some photos look at the falls and then uh, we'll come back and get warm because it is a cold Buffalo day
Lindsay hates squirrels, like hates with a passion. And here she is stalking this one. I have never seen a black squirrel. I don't know what they feed them here in Niagara because the signs say do not feed and yet everybody seems to be feeding them. So um, when you come here, don't get the plague from touching a squirrel. He thinks we're gonna feed him. Heavy. He's a silly boy. He's my silly boy. He's my good boy. Oh, he's my sweet boy. So what did you think of Niagara Falls? Oh, I loved it. It was incredible. One of my favorites, for sure. For sure. If you're ever in the area, you must come, obviously. I'm pretty sure everyone's heard of Niagara Falls. And if you're in the area and you skip it, you're stupid. You what? must come here. <laughs> Why else would anybody be in Buffalo? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I mean, maybe for the wings. <laughs> for the 362 days of overcast and cold weather, come here for Niagara. And come for the black squirrels. They are kind of cute. Just a little cute. And that's coming from somebody who doesn't like squirrels. Doesn't like you hate. I hate squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> no, I hate geese. I hate Canadian geese. Lindsay would watch YouTube videos, basically uh, squirrels dying Not in dying. awful ways, no. like the ones where they Not fling dying, them off. Or they the... get catapulted. That's the ones I watch. Not dying. And like they get caught upside down. And... <laughs> yeah, you, she, she doesn't like squirrels at all. So that was a pretty rare moment, watching her go after that black squirrel. <laughs> oh, beef on whack. Beef on whack. We've got to have beef on whack. Yep, yeah, since we didn't get it last night, we just found a place that serves it. In the town it's of little, Elma, yeah. little cafe place, supposed to have good beef on whack. So we're going to go do that, hopefully. Yeah, I'm starving. I'm starving too. So. Beef on whack, beef on whack, beef on whack. B E E F O N W E C K. It's just roast beef piled high on a roll. But don't but say don't, don't say just. That makes it sound like it's but not. But the roll is supposed to be special. And that's where it gets the weck from. It's like yeah, a the weck roll. Pepper weck or pe pepper weck. Weck. Uh, the last part Kimmel, of it is Kimmel weck. Kimmel weck. The last part is weck, so they shorten it to beef on weck, <laughs> and that's just how it goes. It's a cool name. Let's go get some beef on weck. That meal destroyed me. I'm getting destroyed by a puppy right you now. You are. It's nap time. <laughs> not, not gonna put any story they to that. Gave us so much food. It's ridiculous. I don't take wow. food home. I, I always finish my meals and I'm taking it home. That was, wow, it was a lot of food. It was delicious. So, uh, what's the name of this place? Elma. Elma Cafe? Elma Grill or something like that. <laughs> I'm so bad. Lindsay will put a description, the name in the description. Um, but we're gonna go nap. Yeah, because exactly. I, I ate myself stupid and I'm not going to eat out again for another three weeks. Yeah. I think it's back to eating carrots and, and lettuce and <laughs> and cereal. Buffa high. Buffa high. Buffa by? Buffalo. Huh? Buffa high, buffalo. <laughs> buffa high, buffalo. I thought you were saying like hi. Hi. And then I say bye. Buffa bye. <laughs> we're saying goodbye to buffalo. Cold and rainy. <laughs> Good riddance. Yes. The food was fantastic. It was. Niagara was amazing. Niagara was great. It was awesome to be able to catch up with Mark. I know we didn't put him on camera. We really only got to talk to him for a couple minutes. Made in America store. Awesome. We're linking to it. Support the American workers. Yes. Um, if you ever come to the area, you need to come to this store. Check it out. Buy something. It's great. And uh, I'll link to American Made Movie if you want to watch it. We would appreciate it. Again, it's not a plug. We don't get any money from it. Um, it is just uh, entertaining. 
and gives more of the backstory for Mark in manufacturing mm -hmm. in America mm -hmm. and why it's so important for our economy. But this is not a political comment. We are apolitical, so leave your political mm -hmm. comments on uh, underneath your butt. And um, <laughs> yeah, because no, we don't need them. Nobody else needs them. No. Anyway, we're closing up with Buffalo. We have a cool little story of where we'll be tonight. But for now, let's get on out of here. And if you liked our visit to Niagara Falls and us getting wrecked by the Beef on Wex sandwich. Getting wrecked by Beef on Wex. <laughs> yes. Please I like, like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Send us a positive comment. Positive, positive, positive. If it's negative, it's deleted. You know that by now. Or you get a sarcastic response back from me. Some of you it's are... It's always from him. I'm too nice. <laughs> well, sometimes they're mean, and then I, I say, hey, Lindsay, can you fix this for me? Anyway, thanks for being a part of our journey. We appreciate you being a part of our story and continuing to encourage us as we try to inform and inspire you and others to hit the road and pursue abundant life on the road. We will be back next episode. Stay tuned. Right, Huck? <laughs> she can't reach. I can't reach. She can't reach to say goodbye. <laughs> Unhealthy. <laughs> goodbye. And we're going to do a little outro. Listen to this the dogs snarling and licking yeah. each other. Come on. What a face. What a face. <laughs> I just got to lick. Dog lick. Oh. <laughs>